Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After inserting a slicer into a worksheet that is not a power view sheet, a new options tab within a new slicer tools contextual tab in the ribbon appears. This tab appears within the ribbon anytime you have the slicer selected within the worksheet. You can use the buttons on this tab to modify the slicer settings and make other adjustments to the slicer. You cannot modify slicers in power view sheets. In the Slicer button group at the left end of this tab, you can see and edit the name of the Slicer caption within the text box. You can click the Slicer Settings button to open the Slicer Settings dialog box, which lets you edit the title of the Slicer pane and set sorting and display options for the selected Slicer. Make any changes you want to apply here and then click the OK button. You can click the Report Connections button to open the Report Connections dialog box where you can select the Pivot Table and Pivot Chart reports to connect to the selected slicer by checking the checkbox next to the names of the reports you want to filter with this slicer. You can then click the OK button to apply your choices. In the Slicer Styles button group, you can click the style you want to apply to your selected slicer to change its appearance. You can use the buttons that appear within the Arrange button group to change the alignment and placement of the slicer pane within the worksheet. To change the size and number of columns used to display the buttons within the selected slicer, use the Columns, Height, and Width buttons within the Buttons button group. To set the size of the selected slicer pane, use the Height and Width buttons in the Size button group. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.